it is finally that time for us to talk about focus how we get it why it is useful once you have completed the second dream quest you will have the opportunity to pick your first focus school i highly recommend working on madurai first that's because this one is the one that is going to directly affect your operator's damage and this is going to be important if you want to start doing eidolon farms and for your performance in the zariman this should make sense if you are following the series as we have done all of that now we have everything available there is obviously a shout out to be given to xenaric as this one handles buffs to your operator we'll go through a couple of the skills just so you can see how this works but i'm not going to go into every single node in every school just be aware that i would heavily recommend that you max out xenaric and madurai first if you come and look at madurai then what you're going to see is that we have different types of nodes here and we can classify them in three ways there are Passive skills. So if you hover over something, you're going to see passive. This one is always active. So long as we have this activated. You can see here, this is my active school right now. I could go over here and I could press to activate this one. That's going to switch which one is active. We also have active skills, which is something that happens when you use an ability. So in this case, when I use a void sling, that's going to give us 20% extra energy efficiency. I'm probably not going to get that. And if we look at void strike, this is an ability for the operator. This actually takes the place of your one. So your first ability on like a warframe, when you're in operator mode, that's what this is going to do. It's going to drain the operator's energy for a damage bonus, which is exactly what we're after. And then we have the waybound nodes, which are these two up here in this specific case. And they are denoted by the school symbol at the top of the node itself. It's that little S shape there. That is a passive that is also available outside of this tree once we have maxed it out. You can see it has a fourth rank right there that will actually require a radiant Eidolon shard to complete. So you will need to have been hunting Eidolons to complete one of these trees. Now the reason these ones are important is because that's how we get these other passives activated from each of the trees that you can see on the right hand side. So realistically speaking to get the most out of this at any one time you want to try to get all of the different passives unlocked more importantly when it comes to madurai though is the phoenix talons and the void strike ability these are basically going to allow you to do way more damage with your operator's weapon as you can see right here we have just a naturally increased amount of damage this also increases the physical damage on your main warframe although i think it's weapons and not warframe abilities void strike allows you to consume all of the energy that you have so instead of void slinging you consume all of your energy and then you get a rather large bonus to the amount of damage you can do. And Void Efficiency is going to allow your weapon, ammunition, or amp to last a lot longer. This is going to help you when it comes to farming Eidolons. I'm going to do an Eidolon video after this one. That is why we just need to make sure that we're going through this. So when we come back to this main menu, then you can see that we have a certain amount of focus in here. We'll talk about how we get that in a minute. You can also see that to unlock a school, you will need to spend 50,000 focus to get that done. Now, I've just moved into the back of my ship so I can show you that we do, in fact, have a daily cap on the amount of focus that we can earn per day. So just bear that in mind. You may want to plan around that. Moving on to how we gain focus, then. You can come over to any of your gear, but the greatest recommendation if you want to farm directly is to put the focus onto your Warframe. Select your Actions tab. You can see it's right down here at the bottom. If you haven't installed like a former or something like this before, you may not have seen it. And then you can go ahead and you can select a lens to put on the item. I like to just use greater lenses and I like to spread them across my gear. I know a lot of people like to upgrade them, but I just don't think it's worth the effort. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one of these greater Madurai lenses on. And now what's going to happen is anytime this Warframe is at max level and then would normally gain affinity, so would be leveling up, a portion of that is now going to go into my focus school instead. Now you can see I spread them around quite a lot of my stuff here. And that's because the greater lenses are actually very easy to get. To get greater lenses, all you need to do is get to the Zariman. If you haven't got this unlocked already, in the pinned comment, there is a step-by-step -step guide on how to get through the entirety of Warframe at this point. So you can feel free to follow that series if you need to get to this. Come and see Quinn at the front. And when you come over to his bounties, you'll see that you can always get greater Madurai and Xenaric lenses as a common drop from this right-hand bounty. The bounty itself changes, but it's usually pretty easy. And and as you can see, you will very quickly be able to rack up both Madurai and Xenaric lenses, which in my opinion are the two most important focus schools to get leveled up anyway. If you would prefer to get more affinity per mission, then you can of course go ahead and upgrade your lenses to an Eidolon lens. So obviously, once you have a blueprint, I'll show you where to get those blueprints from in a second. You can go ahead and you can pick 
take a greater lens and upgrade that, but it is going to take 24 hours. Now, as you can see, getting up to this point isn't too difficult because to get that blueprint, all you need to do is run high level bounties or Konzu on Cetus. So if you're well enough prepared, you could be going ahead and running these. That's going to give you the material and the lens to upgrade the lens if you want to. But I personally feel like it's much better to just be earning the focus straight away. It's also worth noting that you can, in fact, change lenses. But if I take this lens off and let's say I want to switch to a Vazarin lens, it will break my currently equipped lens. So I do recommend making making sure that once you have a lens on, just kind of keep it on there until you have maxed out the school that is on there. So it is going to take a while because as, as you saw, it's three for me at mastery rank 26. I can earn 380,000 focus per day and it takes around 11 million as well as a couple of the Eidolon shards to max one out. So throw those lenses on and then basically run whichever mission it is that you want to run. I do personally recommend running arbitrations. I can't imagine anybody is so full up on endo and the galvanized mods yet that they just don't have any use for arbitrations whatsoever. I will tell you guys where the best focus specifically farm is, but I just wouldn't go there for the focus. There's something else that I do need to show though, and that is that we have the focus conversion down here. Once you do start hunting down Eidolons, you are going to get the shards and this is where they are, okay? So these brilliant ones, these are the ones that we actually need to spend to get the fourth rank on the Waybound abilities. And you can see we can actually get quite a lot out of them if you get them on mass. But I haven't really been using them for focus. I just kind of forget that they're there, to be honest. And I believe that wraps everything up. I told you what focus is, where to start, how to start gaining focus. And the last thing is just to tell you guys that the fastest place to earn focus is in the Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. Now, I would personally come in here to get the Core of Warframe. But if you guys are desperate for focus because you have nothing else better to do, I still find that very unlikely. And this is the place that you want to go to specifically farm focus. I hope this video helps you guys out. I hope you get your focus growing as we move forward. And I'll catch you all again very soon.